Believe it or not, this is the best cut of meat on a cow. Surprisingly, it's a cut that not many people know about. This is the Spinalis dorsi, also known as the cap of ribeye, the god of steaks. So, what is the cap of ribeye? It's the outer edge of the ribeye. It's typically separated by a large piece of fat, and it is one of the most flavorful pieces of meat on an entire cow. Now, when it comes to beef, there are two things that we're looking for, and that is taste and texture. What separates the cap of ribeye from a filet mignon? It's texture and taste. A filet is typically more tender. This is the thing that everyone gets in the restaurants and they think they're getting the best cut of meat. When it comes to tenderness, they're not wrong. But when it comes to taste, the ribeye will kick the ass of a filet every day of the week, and that's because of fat. Now the cap of ribeye, or the Spinalis dorsi, is the best and most flavorful piece of meat on the entire cow, in my opinion. Now, with the Spinalis dorsi, this isn't a steak, a solid piece of meat. Actually, what they do is they take the outer edge of the ribeye, as you can see, it is rolled and tied with butcher's tine. That is how we get this steak. It, without the butcher tine, it would just be a long strip of Spinalis dorsi, or cap of ribeye. These steaks right here are so fatty, they're greasy. They feel greasy in my hand, and they're fresh out of the refrigerator. Now we're gonna get these seasoned up, we're gonna get them on the grill, and I'm gonna show you what it takes to make the god of steaks. Now let's get into it. When it comes to the cap of ribeye, I wanna treat this in the most prehistoric way as possible. That is salt, pepper, and garlic. Those three are the foundation of every beef and barbecue rub out there, so that's what we're going with today. When it comes to steak preparation, the first thing that I like to do is take a paper towel and wipe off any of the purge from there. That's the blood, the moisture, and everything that kind of sticks around in the package as you take them out. By doing so, we're gonna apply just a slight binder and we're gonna make some awesome steaks. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through and do this for every one of these steaks, both sides, flip them over, wipe the cutting board down just for any residual purge that might be on there. Now you have to be careful with these cap of ribeye, with that butcher's twine. If they're not tied perfectly, they might come undone and we don't want these things unraveling. So be gentle with them. If you notice, I'm not at home right now. This background is not what you typically see. I'm on a little R&R &R weekend with my wife, so we are going all out with these cap of ribeyes. When it comes to steaks, I like to use a little tiny bit of olive oil as a binder and just put a little shine on it. I'm gonna start off with some sea salt. Don't be afraid to be generous with the salt on these. Typically, I would also go with some freshly ground black pepper. And some garlic powder. Take the back side of my hand, press that onto the steaks. And as you notice, I got a little extra on the cutting board that was on purpose. I'm gonna roll the outside edges of these steaks in that leftover seasoning. That way we have a delicious bite all the way around. Now that we've got these steaks seasoned up, we're gonna give them just a few moments to sweat while we get the grill fired up. Today, we are gonna be smoking and reverse searing these cap of ribeye, the godliest steak that comes from a cow. Now today, I brought my Pursuit 20 by Camp Chef. That is the portable pellet grill that they've got. It is an awesome option for those of you who like to travel, go to campsites, take it on the RV. It's a 20 inch portable pellet grill. Let's go check it out. The grill is up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, which is what we're running this at today. We're gonna to get these cap of ribeye steaks on the Camp Chef Pursuit 20. And God dang, do they look good. Once we hit an internal temperature of 110 degrees Fahrenheit inside of these cap of ribeye, we're gonna pull them off, we're gonna get them on my Camp Chef Pro 60X, two burner, 14 inch cook system. We're gonna sear them on my cast iron griddle. And that is exactly how you do a reverse sear 
on a godly steak like the cap of ribeye. All right, these cap of ribeye steaks are at about 110 degrees internal temperature. It is time to pull them off of the grill. So I'm gonna get them here. And you can see they don't look that appetizing yet. They're kind of gray, kind of mushy looking, but this is where all the magic happens. We're gonna be putting them onto the Pro 60X and searing them with some butter. I got my grill at medium to high heat. What I like to do as I'm cooking is just add little slivers of butter around the steaks. Now, my Pro 60X isn't perfectly level right now. I'm in some real fine gravel and no matter what I do, it's a little off. But we're gonna sit here and sear these. We want a nice golden finish, but the important part with these cap of ribeye is we do not wanna overcook. I want at a most a medium rare, if not even a little rare. So we will be pulling these before we hit 130 degrees internal temperature today. I've got my Thermapen 1 handy. That is what we'll be using to check that internal temperature on these steaks. All right, this one here looks like it's just about done as well, and it is. Let's get this off. Now we're gonna let these steaks rest for about five to six minutes. That's gonna let some of those juices lock in. It's gonna continue to cook just a little bit, and I'm gonna show you what the God of Steaks looks like. Now this cap of ribeye steak is done. It is time to cut into it and see what kind of damage we've done. Now let's do it. Now remember, there is butcher's twine around the outside edge of this cap of ribeye, so be sure to cut that and take that off because nobody wants to eat that. Now let's see exactly what this looks like. Oh, that is so tender. Now that is a perfect looking ribeye. Let's give it a taste. Now this right here is one hell of a ribeye. This is the god of all steaks, the Spinalis Dorsey, the cap of ribeye. Now let's try it. Oh. Holy hell. That thing is absolutely delicious. It is so juicy. Mmm. That beats any steak, any cut of steak that I've ever had. If you want a steak that'll change your life, then I suggest you go to your butcher and ask them for a cap of ribeye because it will change your life.